Oh, I nearly dropped it. Reef making day today. We're going to be doing a deco mesh reef. I hope you've all had a nice weekend. And it's Monday again. And now, what's the time? Oh, it's like six o'clock and it's so gloomy outside. Anyway, so we're doing a deco mesh reef. Um, I'm going to do a red and gold one. So I've got the um, reef form. Yeah, that little, that keeps coming down, that little light. It's all right, we've changed, you know, you remember when I showed you, we had a blue light underneath the telly. We've changed it to the white one. Sean's fitted it. Um, I think he needs to glue it up a little bit more, it keeps dropping down anyway, let him get on with that. So, right, so, that, so what I've got is the reef form from uh, the pound shop, stripped all that stuff off, so what are they, two quid? So one of those, stripped all the tinsel off. I've got some deco mesh, and I'll tell you the prices in a minute. Some deco mesh, I've got red with gold, I've got a beigey colour, which is more like an ivory, let's say ivory. Um, I've got my new cutting mat, which I'm very excited about. And a rotary cutter. I know you know that, because I cut my finger on it, my hand on it, didn't I? Um, I've got some floral wine in case we need it. I've got some zip ties. Do I really need to go for all the supplies I've got? Anyway, well, you might want to know, so I'll tell you anyway. Um, what are these things called? Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. I've got a biscuit. I just put this on the side of biscuit. That's in my supplies. You know why? Because I had a cup of tea and I had a bis some biscuits and I didn't eat that one. And it's sitting right there next to me. Um, and it's shortbread, my favourite, so I'll probably have to nibble on that. I've got one of those little gold masks from Home Bargains, what they? £1.49. And you know what? I, I can't see them in there anymore. They, I think they've got a blue one in there, but it's not like a that um, ice blue. It's like, how can I explain it? It's, it's probably a bit like that, that kind of blue, but a bit paler. Anyway, so one of those, I've got some gold baubles. And I've got a couple of these, so I don't know which one, whether we're going to use them or not, but I've got a couple of these, a red one and a gold one, the Merry Christmas. Whether or not we put them, I don't think we're going to be able to do this, put them in the middle, because I think this reform's not quite big enough. I think we need the next size up to put that in the middle and then put the mesh around it. However, we don't know, we could try it, we'll see. Or... Don't have it in the middle, let's just change it over and like hang it from the bottom and then do the mesh around there. So, you know, we've got options. We've got options. Anyway, so I, what I've done with the pipe cleaners, I've cut them in half because they, they, they're quite long. So the deco mesh, price of the deco mesh, 10 inch, 10 yards, three, pack, three in a pack. And I've got two red and one white, but I'm only using this particular one because it's got the gold in it. The other one's just a plain red one. 10 inch, 10 yards, three rolls for 12.99. Not too bad. This bargain. is one I had, what? Bargain. <laughs> I give you bargain. Get up, you what's it, up the top of the garden here. Go and do some lights or whatever you're doing. And uh, yeah, we've got lights up there now. And he is, he's going up there, he's gonna put his lights on and get his, Decorate. He's done the bar. I'll have to show you. I won't show you now, though. But I will show you in the week. Anyway, forget that. I'm not talking about that. But some, what I've done with the deco mesh as well, I've started to cut it in little strips. And I've actually put a little dab a bit of glue on it and just put a little bit of gold on there, on the end, just a bit of glitter. But you can still see it is still frying a little bit, so I'll cut those bits off. So that's that. So what I'm going to do, and I hope you can see me, I'm literally measuring this out to about, what's upside down? Hang on, where's me, um... oh, this is in centimetres, oh no, it's not. Do you know what, I've been trying to work out because I can't remember how to do centimetres to inches and all this old shenanigans. And I kept thinking, oh, it's in centimetres, not inches. But if I turn it over, it's got inches on the back. <laughs> Duh. Anyway, so I'm going with roughly 10 inches. 
because I did one the other day with with bigger um, what you call it bigger pieces they were 17 and too big so I'm going with 10 inches now I know there's lots of methods what people say oh you can use a methyl methyl you can use the ruffle method and you can use the what's the other one ruffle method um, uh, do you know what I don't I don't even know I absolutely don't know I just make it up as I go along I find that much easier so anyway I'm doing I'm rolling them up into like tubes whatever they're called and you guys might know that so they're like this and they're literally going to be rolled up squished to pinch together squished together in the middle like that and it's going to look like that and Claire from Polly put the petal on she would know what I'm talking about she'll go Nikki it's called this well, I don't know. Anyway, so let's get cutting and stop chatting. So I'm going with uh, 10 inches. I'm just going to cut a few off to start with. And I probably should have done this before talking to everybody. But I'm sure you don't mind me coming on and having a chat. Because you, as you know, that's what I do. Anyway. Let's just crack on. I hope everybody's doing well and you're all good and no one's got the dreaded lurgy, which is absolutely awful. And everyone's talking about what they're doing at Christmas and it's heartbreaking to think that there's a lot of families now, or, well, who can't, you know, spend their time with their loved ones at Christmas, I don't think. Or, 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 as Boris not decided Christmas yet. That just shows you, I don't even listen to the news anymore because it's just going on and on and on and on. Anyway, we, I know we should listen to the news. Um, and I, I do listen to it, but I just think it's just all sad, this whole situation. Anyway, I'm not talking about that no more. Right, so I've cut a few off. I'm not the quickest person to do this cutting and it's because I'm trying to do it nice and gently so that I cause as less fraying as possible. So I've seen people on um, on here doing and they go like, chew, 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 chew. you know like they've got them on a roll here and then they pull it out and slice it, pull it out and slice it. I'm going to shut that cover up and cut myself. Pull it out and slice it, pull it out and slice it. Oh, I'm just not as quick as that, I'd like to just take the time. So I've got a few, there's not a lot, but I've got a few. So I'm gonna get going and show you how I'm gonna start. And then I'll do some and then I'll put it on fast pull. So I'm literally, let's just move that there a minute. And I don't know if you can see me here. If I move them over there as well, you can see me. So I'm literally, stay there, stay there. I'm literally just rolling up in a ball like this. That's all I'm doing. And I twist it slightly in the middle, like, Pretend you're giving someone a Chinese burn, like that. All right, so that kind of goes a bit like an S shape. And then I pinch it in the middle, and it looks like that. All right, I could be little devil, little devil horns. That's good for the kids if they're going, oh no, they're not going out trick or treating, are they? They're little red devil horns. Anyway, so get a pipe cleaner, and the only pipe cleaners I've got is brown at the moment. Um, but. I think once you've got them on, you don't really see them anyway. I can't, I'll have to go and look at one of the other ones. Anyway, I'm just putting it on and twisting it round. Now, I know a lot of people put their pipe cleaners on first. I just found it easier doing it this way. So everyone's got their own method. And then I'm going to start in, actually, I'm not going to start in the middle. Because if we put that there, see what it looks like. I think we'll start on the outside and work our way in. So we do... The outer rings first, the top one and then the second one in. So let's do the top one first. And what I like about these is, and I have told you this, is I like the little nodules on there. They hold on really well around there. And you can tie them around there for extra added support. Now, as I say, I'm slow at this. So you just gotta bear with me. So we just get another one. Roll it, curl it round. Give it a little Chinese burn. Get your pipe cleaner, shove it in, and then I'll pull it up and twist. That's it. So I'll do a few of them, and then we'll stick them on. 
to roll, twist, pipe. Right. Roll, twist, pipe. Oh, is this called the curl, curl method? Curl method, because they like curls? I like this method, actually. It's, it comes out lovely. Right, roll, twist, pipe. Right, so we've got a few. Actually, let's just do the rest of these. Then we'll do a fast lapse. All right. Roll, Chinese burn, pipe. And they make really nice curls. Now, you could, if you wanted to, if you had a plane, you may dip, dip these in glue and dip them in glitter on the end. But I only did it on the uh, this one because it's plain. Actually, that one looks more like a bow tie itself, actually. Right, roll, twist, pipe. Oh. And three more. Roll, Chinese burn, pipe. Has anyone heard of that Chinese burn? If you haven't, I only remember it from years and years ago when my my uncle used to give us and give my brother a Chinese burn and he used to absolutely hate it and cry when he was little. And then my other uncle, Brian, he also used to do it to my brother and my brother. <laughs> he used to run, around, run away trying to hide. Please don't give me a Chinese burn. Right, so there's our little curls, our curly curls at the minute. Now let's put some on. As I say, as I've told you, I'm really slow at this. So let's, and you know, people are going to say, oh, why just put them pipe cleaner, you know, on the frame and then put them in, shove them in there? Well, I can if I wanted to, but I'm going to do it this way. Um, I then can control where I'm putting it. Whereas if you put all your pipe cleaners on, as I say, everybody's different, but I find if you put your pipe cleaners on first, that's the position you're putting them in. And you, well, you can change your position if, if you wanted to, but let's say you did it and then you thought, mm, oh, I want to move that one, or I want to put something else in that spot. Or, do you know what I mean? Then you've got to take it out. But this one, if I want to do a few, and then I can think, okay, I'm going to put something else there. Well, I suppose you could take a pipe cleaner out, you know. Anyway, there's, there's lots of different ways to do all this. I ain't going to go on about it. Because it's bloody boring. Oh, this one's got caught now. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Right, okay. So, we're looking good. We are looking good. But it gets my red top. I haven't got a red top, I've got a black top. <laughs> oh, honestly, I better go and make myself a drink. <clears throat> right, let's crawl, let's carry on. So how many more have we got? Four more, one, two, three, four, five. Five including this one. So I've probably got on each section, one, two, three. So in each bit here, I've got three of these. No, I haven't. I've got two. Sorry, I've got two. So in each bit, and how wide is that little bit there? Two inches, I've got two. So it's like one per inch. Okay, twist that round. Fluff it up. Let's do another one. And then what we've got there, three left, okay. And then we're going to a time lapse and I'll carry on for a minute. And then we can fluff it up after. <clears throat> Come on, Nick, picking up speed now. <laughs> right, that's it. 
that's the last one on that one so that's my two i've got could do with another one on there but i'll do that in a minute now i'm thinking do i want to put that color in there as well or shove it in the middle somewhere to break the color up I'd rather have gold actually, but I just didn't have any gold. I might just put one in the middle just to see what it looks like. But I'm going to put the gold ball balls in there as well, so I'm sorry if you can hear banging. Is it in up there? I think it's sh no, it's next door. It's next door. My neighbours are having some building works done. I know it's late on a Sunday night, but they're like doing things themselves, you know. DIY and that's what the bang is they're in the garden right so that's not too bad it's not too bad it might look better when it's all done so I'll keep that one in for the minute and we'll see or do I take that mm, or just do it all red I'm not sure. I'm going to keep one in. I won't do it anymore in that colour, right? So I'm going to carry on, do a bit more, and then I'll put it on a time lapse and come back to you because I feel like the time is going on and I know this is going to be a long one. This could go on for like 45 minutes. So hold on a moment. Okay, people, we are nearly done. I've had to use a different um, deco mesh as well because I run out of the red and the gold. Oh, God, I can't even see the top of my head. Oh, there you go. Um, so I'm using the other roll I've got, which is this one. And it's, that's also, it's got like a shine. It's not gold, it's like a red shine in it. So I'm using that one as well. Um, to fill in some gaps because it wasn't looking very bushy with just the red and the gold one. So to add a bit more bushiness to it, I'm just doing some more red and, and using this one, which it looks equally nice. In fact, I think the red looks absolutely stunning, to be honest with you. And then we'll just fill that in and then I'm going to add some ball balls. So I've got my glue gun on already. And if you just bear with me a minute, I'll just finish these last few. And then we'll add the rest. <gasps> Sean, you can't keep doing that. Why? Because I'm talking to people. Apologies if you heard that. Pardon me. You have to say pardon me. Sure. Yeah. Go on then. I'm making some shush. You're making some shush. Comes in here. Blows off. Oh, takes over. Right. So let's lift this up so you can see. I've put the gold bit in the middle. It's looking nice and bushy and full, as you can see. But look, you can see all the bit, the frame under there on this side. So I'm just going to put a bit more in there. Then we're going to put some baubles on it. So hold on a moment. This is where I could do the knees all standing here, so I can stand up. That's why I cook it on, on here. So let's just quickly fill in a bit more. Can you see? to try and tip it up a little bit but it's just awkward when I do it like this and I've had to go to white pipe cleaners because I've run out of the other ones which I didn't want to use because I think you can always see you can see the white ones because obviously the black frame but if I push it all up it we might we might not we might be all right I'm twisting it all around the place and I 
trying to see what I can see as I get there. So I'm just put a couple in here. And I'm going to poof it up a bit. Poof it up. I like the way people say that. Poof it up. And then I'll, I will hook it behind me on the door there because it's just a little bit easier. Then we can have a look at it properly. So a couple more. And up here, I think. Just at the top here, I think needs a needs a couple. Oh maybe maybe one here at the side. It's a lovely colour red. Really nice. And then maybe one on there. It's a bit awkward to tell. Yeah, I think one here. And then that's it. Right, so. <laughs> Give it a twist. Now, I'm going to get um, a hook to go on here. So, one minute. And I'll be back. Oh, I've got one on the floor. I must have dropped it. Hold on, then. Let's find another gap. I think here's a gap. I'll shove it in there. Oh, one minute. No. Oh, here's a gap. We'll shove it in here. One minute. And then, give it a twist. Okay, right. One minute, I'll be back. Right. Now, I tried to hook it on there, but it, it's too low. When I put the <laughs> really low. Oh, for goodness sake. I put the glue gun over here and I've just tripped over it, obviously. Oh. Uh, what I was going to show you was when I put it on, it was hanging down here, so it's too low. I can't, I can't do it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, and as you can, oh, I've just seen a gap. There's a gap here. Damn. I better put another bit in there. Oh, no, I can put a cluster of baubles in there. Um, and I'm going to move all this round. So although it looks like it's covered that up, when I fluffed around with it and moved it all about, it'll be fine. So, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, you know, the, the, the creamy colour ivory one in there, as you can see, I took it out. It just didn't look right. I didn't, I don't know. It just, it like stood out like a sore thumb. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so, let's just move that there. I'm going to lay this back down. Right. I need like a box or something to stand it up, but we'll have to worry about that later. I'll have to find myself an easel. So anyway, where's my... I'm going to put the kettle on because I want to cut the tea. Hold on. I'll do that as well. Now, right, so I've got a selection of ball balls, as we said. Now, this is what I do with these ball balls. I take the tops off of them. I might as well make, wait for the kettle to stop. I take the top off, like so. I mean, I... that one's broke, so I can't use that. Okay, so I take the top off. And I'll show you a little trick of mine, right? Get your pipe cleaner stick, which you've just tied on here, right? So let's say this little bit here, right? Get a bit of glue. Might need a new stick in this one. No, okay. Right, put a bit of glue in the top, in the hole itself. And then if you can see, here, I'm going to put it over the top of that. Right way down. Just hold it in a bit in place. Right, so that's one ball for you. And that's what I do. But once I've done a few, just make that bit out. Right, and then I go on to the next one. And then it covers up that little, if you've got like a different colour, like I've got white in there, uh, white, <coughs> white, what are they called? Pipe cleaners, then, then it will cover that up. I didn't have it. So we we'll find another ball ball. Like, right, let's take one of these off. So your little end. Put a bit of glue in the hole. And on the top, get your little, you can't see, can you? Get your little bit and shove it in. Right the way down. And push it in. Like that. Right? So there we are. So I'm going to do a bit more, but I've definitely got a gap there. I'm going to have to cut a bit more mesh, I think, just to go in this little gap. Because that's quite... 
I said, but I didn't even notice that's quite a big gap there. So, one minute. I need to cut a bit more mesh. Hold on. Let's just get this. I don't go make yourself a cup of tea, guys. While I'm doing this bit. Bit more of that mesh. I need there maybe three. Maybe do three. So let's quickly cut three off of there. So as you can see, so what have we got? Ten yards. We've we've used, I reckon, fifteen yards for this reef. One, two. Let's do another one of these, and that should be good to go. Because we used 10 yards on the first one, and now I'm probably using half of the second one. Let's find a pipe cleaner. Oh, what is it? oh no, keep that red one in case we need that for something else. Let's just cut these in half. I don't know where the wire cut has gone. I reckon Sean's had them. They're probably up there, out the back. Right. So, roll, Chinese burn. Pipe cleaner. Right. And let's fill in this little gap here. So don't forget, keep your little tails to put your baubles on. Right? Shove it in the hole. Underneath it and twist. Right, let's do another one. So I'll probably, yeah, two more in there, definitely. And let's do these long, these two as well. So roll. Chinese burn pipe. And then we'll fluff it all up after. Right, get keep your little tails. Make sure they're long enough to put your ball balls in if you're going to use ball balls. Shove it round. And don't forget to poke them back up again. So if you're if you're doing your ball balls, the little the, your tails. And then the last one, roll, Chinese burn, pipe. Right, twist. And then in that gap there, and we should be good to go. Give it a little twist and then poke the little tails up so we can put, if we want to, we can put some little ball balls on there. Right, okay, so that's filled in the gap. Yeah, I know you can, I can see some, some bits of gap, but by the time I've fluffed it all, here, see, I can see one here. So by the time I've kind of fluffed it all around, that should, that should fill in all the gaps. So, I'm going to start doing the ball balls. I'm going to put it on a time lapse, do some ball balls, and then I'll come back to you. The only bit I'm a bit concerned about is up here, but I, I probably can fluff that down and cover that bit up as well. So, hold on a moment. Right, ta-da, finished. Now, I took all the ball balls off because they looked, I just didn't like the look of them. So I've decided, <laughs> I've just, so I'm just laughing at Sean, he's just he's sitting over there being playing silly buggers. So I've decided um, to put the gold thing in the middle, the Merry Christmas there, I've took the ball balls off, I've put the, the rest of the deco mesh in there as well. So that's two rolls I've got on there now. So it's two. I walked off camera then. Right, so two. Oh, this, this is what he does to me all the time. 
it just walks around and just makes Mickey fart paint noises. Oh my good God, he is like Mickey fart pants. Seriously. <sighs> Can I carry on now? Yeah. Right, so, to all the bulbs off, I use two rolls of the deco mesh, so 20 yards to fill that in. But it is a big reef. It's still doing it. <laughs> no, to do a start again, Nick. Why have you got to start again? You can't let it like that. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, anyway, I've lost my concentration now. No, just do it again. I am doing it, just be right, quiet. Record. You need to record. Anyway, let's stop the camera then. So, took the bulbs off, didn't like it. Used two rolls of the deco mesh, uh, 10 yards ten yards each. Uh, put the gold Merry Christmas in the middle there, and that's it. And that, I think that's all we need. I don't think, because when I had those bulbs around there and I kept standing back looking at it, it, it just didn't look right, I just didn't like it. But I actually like that. I think that is just right. And you can't see on the camera, but the little gold shimmery bits dotted around in the other deco mesh, it, when the light shine on it, it's really pretty. Let me see if I can bring it forward a little bit. It just needs, can you just see the little shimmer? Where is it here? Down this side here, um, up the top here. If I come to an angle, and you can see it around here as well. So I just need to cut back all the little bits of stringy bits. And um, I'm just gonna, st I'm just going to stand back next to you, here, and there you are, that's the end product. But you definitely need, if you have one of those those reefs um, from the pound shop, they are quite big, what was they, 24 inches, some or 21 inches, so when you poof this all out, that there is 24 inches, I think. I think I'm going to get a tape measure. Where's my ruler? Have you got my ruler? Sean? What? Oh. Hang on, guys. Wait a minute. I'll come back. Sean, behave yourself while I'm not there. Right, so where are we? This side, yeah, so 25, this is about 25 inches. Yeah, by 25. Um, so you're looking at from, yes, yeah, so that's about 20 inches, the frame on the outside. So it's quite big, so you do need a lot of that deco mesh, I think, unless, I don't know. Or what we could have done was, was spray painted the frame red so that you can't see the black in it and have all the pipe cleaners the same colour like red. Or have even more mesh and really scrunch it up so it's really tight next to each other, then you're not going to see obviously any gaps at all, but there you go. So there's my Merry Christmas red and gold reef today. Today's lesson, I feel like I'm doing this, you know, like the teacher when they point like that. Yeah, lesson today. Da, 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 da. <laughs> anyway, there you go, guys. I'm probably going to do another Christmas decoration this week as well, so probably Wednesday. And um, I will see you then. <laughs> Look at him. Um, see this? I'm going to whack him in a minute with it. Bye. See you later. Bye.